I was reached out by Xtool to see if uh, I wanted to try their new F1 slide extension. I said, sure, why not? Everyone could use a little extension in their lives. When it comes to gavel lasers, one of the top comments is, well, the engraving size is just too small. And I would have to agree. But that's the typically the, the weakness to all gavel lasers is the engraving size. And there's really not a solution for the most part. Until now, Xtool came out with an accessory that allows you to increase the engraving size, well, at least on the x-axis, by four times. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is what Xtool refers to as the F1 slide extension. It is a beefy unit. It's got some heft to it. And if you're used to the D1, you will notice that it has the all-steel wheel and shafts for nice linear movement. And the connection is really easy. It just plugs in by USB to the top slot. And I believe that's also shares the rotary. So you just go ahead and place it here for right now. And we'll go over some of the accessories that comes with it. Now these are some very unique work clamps. So let's go over these. You get three of these. First, it's spring-loaded, so we can secure it from the top. And then you have this thumb screw and this lever. And this lever actually lets you <laughs> lock it into the work surface. And this is a raised work surface, so you could uh, do cut-throughs. Just secure it down. And now you get also these other two um, edge work clamps. What's unique about these is they're spring-loaded, so they could actually like push against your work pieces. Again, it has the spring loaded on the top as well. Now you can go ahead and slide it along the top of the rails here and then turn it if you like and lock it down. But you're just not limited to that. You could actually go in the center or wherever you like with these. And then go ahead and secure it. As I mentioned, they're spring loaded. So say you have a work piece and you want to put it in between and then you could just secure it with the springs. So that way you can get basically full edge uh, laser engraving. Pretty ingenious. Also what's included is this ruler. Now it's uh, got uh, metric and freedom units on it. And you just use this thumb screw to loosen it and slide it in. Actually I'm sliding in on the wrong side here. This is going to go on the left hand side. This is uh, going to be used for your calibration process. So just want to show you where it goes. Now we're going to jump ahead of the steps on how to install this. You have two screws and you have this uh, line at the bottom. So it's going to be your second line. And then you're just going to go ahead and tighten down the screw here. Now, I'm just going to make a little snug here. I'm going to slide it over and then I'm going to secure the other screw, making sure that uh, I'm lined up and then go ahead and tighten it down. Now, again, I'm going out of step process here um, because the software is going to tell you when you go into it how to do these steps. You're going to first uh, plug in by USB your slide extension and power up your F1. And then go ahead and open up Xtool Creative Space. You're going to select Laser Slide Extension. And then what will come up is your calibration. It's going to let you know about uh, installing the ruler here and lining up the lines. Just in case, if it doesn't line up perfectly, it's going to tell you that you could loosen those screws and kind of move it side to side. And that's practically it. You just want to make sure that that line, that laser line, is perfectly on that ruler. So that way everything is nice and square before you begin. And then you're going to just hit OK. Then you're going to hit Complete. And what's going to happen is that the slide is going to move back and forth. Pretty darn simple. You know what else is simple? Ordering PCBs. And that leads up to today's video sponsor. That is PCBWay. Are you looking for a PCB manufacturer? Well, look no further. PCBWay offers standard PCBs, advanced PCBs, flexible and rigid PCBs. They offer assembly as well. Do you need SMD or stencils? They do that. Also, they do CNC and 3D printing. And that's pretty cool. Even do sheet metal <laughs> and injection molding. You want to work on a project? Just head on over to the shared projects area. Find a project that you may want to work on, order it, and go ahead and start learning all about electronics. It's a great way to get started. 
So be sure to check out PCBWay for all your PCB needs. I'd like to thank PCBWay for sponsoring today's video of the F1 slide extension. Now it's time for everyone's favorite subject, safety. Disclaimer time, safety first. This video is for entertainment purposes only. You are following these instructions at your own risk. Always wear approved eye protection. People and animals not wearing protection should stay away. And I am not responsible if you do not become a pro after watching this video. And I would suggest that you use a fume extractor or vent your, the gases slash um, particulates outside while laser engraving. Thank you. And I found this uh, piece of scrap MDF in the garage. And <laughs> would you believe it? It's almost a perfect fit. Well, it's a little, little long. But uh, it looks like these uh, clamps will not uh, secure it down because it's just a little bit too wide. But nevertheless, uh, this machine doesn't produce basically any vibration. So clamps are not really needed for this part. And I think this is where this uh, shines very well for using this extension is for like a sign. And uh, my DPI is rather, rather high. So I suggest lowering it if you were to use my settings. I really like this preview. So if say that you want to see your outline, um, I choose the outline instead of the box. You use the jog wheel. And then all you do is um, move the jog wheel you know, forward or back. And look at that. That is pretty darn slick. So you could basically see how the outline is going to be. Now, this looks a lot better off camera than on camera, but I think you get the understanding of how it works. So then you could just go ahead and move your workspace to accommodate for your workpiece. And um, this DPI setting is only for, um, for like images. And oh boy, I set it way way too high on this piece. Um, this should not have taken two hours, but I ran with it because that's just what I did. But if you're looking to do a very detailed photo, that's what that DPI setting's for. And uh, you can see how nicely this uh, engraving is coming out. Again, it took two hours, but chances are you do it in a lot less time. Just lower that DPI setting. And look at that. Look how nice and crisp and clean that is you could probably get away with like a 300 or less dpi but you get the gist came out really really nice i always get asked tripod how do you engrave glass well first you grab your wife's favorite tupperware container and then you go out and buy some tempera paint yep washable paint and then you need to find some glass i'm going to go with um some Coasters, yes, some glass coasters. These could be found on Amazon. Link will be in the description below. And last but not least, unless you want to get your hands full of paint, some latex or gloves of some sort. Um, yeah, that doesn't really fit that well. Long piano fingers. Now, of course, uh, depending on the size of the project you're working on, will depend on the type of container that you're going to use. And you can see this is pretty darn thick. And what I'm gonna do is dip this into the tempera paint. And you'll see that it is too thick. Now you can always paint this on, of course, but it, I found it to be rather difficult to do it because you, tempera paint doesn't apply all that evenly and you probably have to do two or three coats. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our favorite Midwest water, ice mountain water, and we're gonna dilute it basically one-to-one -one ratio. And we are going to do mixy-mixy. Yes, we're gonna use our finger to mix. And this is about the consistency you want. And uh, take your glass and now just swirl it around and that's what you're looking for. Don't worry about the air bubbles. And basically you're gonna want it to look like a tile. And we're gonna just set it on this box in the back here and we're gonna just do all of ours. And we're gonna just let it sit. You could use like a, a heating gun to speed up the process or set them outside in the sun. Because we want to let them dry. And when they're dry, they should look like this, nice and flat. And now you're ready to laser etch the glass. And I've set four of them. That's about the max I could put on this slide. I tried my best to align the material using the rulers on the top and the left and referring to the slide. 
and my power is at 95% power, 120 for my um, millimeters per second, and DPI is at 240. You can lower your DPI to make it go a lot faster, but that is the result. This is washable with just basically hot water. You don't need to use any soap or anything. And let's see what it looks like. And how does it look after you wash it off? Glad you asked. There it is. It is permanent. And there you go. You can hear it. This is the way. Yep, came out rather, rather nice. Now, of course, not all of them are perfect. Uh, you will see here that uh, there are some that are off, like this one. It's off to the right a little bit. And uh, there's a pretty good gap on that side. Same with this one. Pretty much identical. And this one is pretty close to centered, but you'll see that's a little bit too far to the left. So it's definitely going to take some getting used to and uh, practice makes perfect. So definitely want to pay attention, measure, measure, measure before you cut. I believe this is where it really shines. Doing a large piece that's up to 400 by 100. And the multiple pieces, it will take a quite a long time to get them all lined up and to do repeated jobs. Unless you have a jig. The clamps are fantastic. And um, that's about it. Hopefully I've given you enough information for you yourself to decide if this accessory is worth your needs. And if so, there will be an affiliate link down below and currently Xtool is running a promotion. So check out that promotion and see if it's worth the savings you are looking for. I appreciate you tuning in to Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll catch you later on Tripod's Garage.